friends, when we talk about large shipping containers, aren't you curious how they're usually transported? Today, we'll delve into the mysteries of container shipping. Have you ever wondered how those massive container ships stay stable in rough seas? Even in turbulent waters, these behemoths remain as steady as a rock. Normally, you'd think these huge ships might capsize in big waves, but that's not the case. So how do they manage it? Let's unravel this mystery together today. The first step in container shipping is transporting containers of various sizes from different locations to coastal ports. Next, these containers of different sizes are usually transported to the docks by specialized large trucks. Workers at the dock arrange the containers by size and specifications in a predetermined order to facilitate loading onto ships. Then, massive cranes lift these containers weighing tens of tons and swing them onto the ship. The process requires high precision and coordination. Even a slight error at any stage could lead to serious consequences. After briefly introducing the transport process, we must understand the unique design of container ships. Take the MSC Crystal, a container ship, for example. These ships are designed primarily to accommodate as many containers as possible. Generally, standard containers come in 20 foot and 40 foot sizes, about 6 meters and 12 meters long, respectively. First, these cargo ships for transporting containers are divided into different areas that can be adjusted based on specific transport needs. Large container ships can typically hold thousands to tens of thousands of containers, loaded in a horizontal sequence across the ship. Moreover, smaller boxes and larger containers are stacked together to maximize space utilization. For example, first stack 20-foot containers in pairs, then place 40-foot containers on top to secure them. Once the ship is fully loaded, the hatch is closed, creating a large platform for the next batch of cargo. Ensuring safe stacking of different sized containers during sea travel is crucial. Besides locking containers together, special lashing bars secure them to the ship's interior. Every container must be secured, including the bottom layer, to prevent shifting during the voyage. In reality, securing containers is a highly complex task. Workers use specialized equipment to connect containers and must ensure they're fixed to the ship's bottom. Ship hatch covers typically have separate locking mechanisms to secure top containers. Top containers are usually secured using twist locks or fittings to keep the entire stack stable during ship movement. The entire container stacking process often takes several days. The ship only begins its journey after all containers are loaded and secured. We've now learned how to secure containers and position over 23,000 containers on large ships. Container positions are determined by bay, row and tier numbers according to regulations. It specifies which ship, which layer and the specific number. Each container has a unique six-digit code, two for bay, two for row, and two for tier. For example, container 090506 is located in bay 9, row 5, tier 6. When planning cargo stacking, containers unloaded last at the port are loaded first onto the ship's bottom level. This is crucial as it saves time and reduces cost during the stacking process. Shipping containers allow transport of almost all types of cargo, with no quantity limits. Whether one or many containers, they protect cargo quality and reduce damage, loss, theft or misplacement during transport. Using shipping containers allows transport units to effectively control ships. Loading and unloading cargo at ports is much faster than traditional methods. Loading so many containers onto a ship is a highly complex task. Detailed planning is needed to arrange containers for easy unloading later. 
Containers arriving first at the port must be placed on top for convenient and quick unloading. Heavier containers are placed in the middle, while lighter ones go on the sides. Ships are affected by various forces at sea, which can cause them to lose balance. If heavy containers are stacked on one side, it's hard for the ship to regain balance when hit by waves. In recent years, container shipping demand has grown rapidly with global trade, increasing container ship numbers. Global shipbuilding market share grew from 25% in 2005 to 31% in 2006. Currently, over 20 million standard containers are in constant operation worldwide, with a 6% annual growth rate. Container usage is growing yearly, but each container's lifespan is only about 10 years. Don't forget to like, share and follow to help more friends learn about this knowledge. See you in our next video.